And speaking of the weather, let's now talk hurricanes here in Colorado, because a lot of the forecasting and predicting that's done both for the country and for the world is actually done up in Fort Collins at CSU. So let's welcome in Bill Klotzbach, research scientist and meteorologist up there at CSU. We're talking about the 2022 hurricane outlook. This is done each and every year. Phil, what does it look like for this year? Yeah, we are forecasting an above normal 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, the total of 20 named storms. Those are systems named by the National Hurricane Center. So the systems have winds of 39 miles per hour or greater. Of those 20, 10 becoming hurricanes. And of those 10, five becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes. Those are hurricanes with winds 111 miles per hour or greater. And that's well above the long-term average of about 14 storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. So while that information obviously is super important, I think we're kind of to the point in this discussion where people start scratching their heads and saying, okay, but why is this research being done in Colorado? How do you answer that question? Yeah, so it actually has a long history. So the CSU has been doing Atlantic seasonal hurricane predictions now for 39 years. So this all started back in 1984, uh, founded by the late Dr. Bill Gray, who was you know basically a huge, um, huge researcher in hurricanes, made fundamental contributions to tropical cyclone genesis, structure, intensity change, just a giant in the field of tropical meteorology. And our department was actually started by a gentleman named Herbert Reel, who was a pioneering uh, hurricane and tropical meteorologist all the way back in the early 1960s. So while our department does all sorts of awesome research and not all that's hurricane related, um, that has had a hurricane, um, at least one or two faculty doing hurricane research uh, pretty much since its inception in the early 1960s. And I believe the quote was, storm surge won't get to us at 5,000 feet. Uh, at that is point. correct. That, that's that's what there. Dr. Gray used to always say, the storm surge can't get you at 5,000 feet. <laughs> but yet, when we're talking about um, hurricanes and the numbers of them and the numbers of them going up and the strength going up and all the things that you're predicting as part of this forecast, that does, at the end of the, the year, I guess you'd say, have an impact on us here in Colorado. So why should Coloradans care about what this forecast is forecasting? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if hurricanes do make landfall and cause significant impacts, obviously, we all have heard a lot of probably more than we want to hear here about supply chain. And obviously, if there are, you know, say storms in the Gulf of Mexico that shut down oil refineries, even temporarily, obviously, gas prices are already extremely high, um, that could potentially cause them to escalate even more. And obviously, any sort of storms making landfall can obviously cause other supply chain shortages as well. And obviously, too, even though, you know, people certainly you have friends and family that live along the Gulf Coast, the East Coast, it can cause significant impacts to them. And obviously, if anyone in our country is suffering due to a natural disaster, you know, I think we all certainly suffer at least a little bit along with them. Phil Klotzbach, thanks so much for the time and for all the work that you do. The 2022 Hurricane Outlook is out right now.